I know, buddy. Don't worry. I'm going to fix you up soon, okay? Yeah, I got a neglected dog in here today. I don't normally get these type of dogs, but it happens. He's uh, really, really matted. Like all over. So he's going to get a shave. I'm going to shave him down. I know he gets upset sometimes, especially when I do his front legs. So I'm just going to show you how I shave him. Oh, your ears not matted? That's weird. Top of your head and your ears? But your body is. Look at your face. I know he doesn't like his face being touched, but oh, look at his chest. Can you see that? Okay, these are mats. When you can see it all like cottony so for instance you can take your comb you know it doesn't go through obviously and this dog up he's matted all over I would never demat this dog even if they asked and it would be torture and cruel look at them that's just all mats body all his legs under his chest the whole thing so the kindest thing to do is to just clip it off and well start over again oh, poor baby okay I'm gonna fix you up okay you can't even see oh. like dogs need to see I don't know why they let all that hair cover their eyes poor thing does he know where he's going hmm I'm going to save him with a 7f blade this is a nice blade to shave them off. Sometimes if the mats are tighter, you need to go shorter. So what I like to do is give it a little bit of oil. Just to make sure it's, you know, running nicely. Come on, up you go, up you go. He likes to sit a lot. Yeah, he's gonna sit right back down. Okay, let's get what we can. I'm gonna hold you up. I like to find a spot that's like split where I can see the skin and then I start there. Sometimes I just start at the head, but it doesn't matter. It's all going to get taken off anyways. And so what I do is I just uh, clip in the direction that the hair is growing. Yeah, so these knots up here anyways don't seem too tight. So they're coming off good with the 7F blade. And I haven't washed them yet. I figured I don't want to wash all that hair. And, uh, you know, put it wet. I might as well just get off what I can before the bath. Because I'm not um, dematting him and I don't want to leave any more hair than I have to. This dog does not come in as often as it should. And this was a really long time. I don't know what happened. I've never actually seen it this matted before. Up you go, bud. Oh, it's heavy. Look at that. Right. Now I'm hoping the 7F will uh, take off the mats on the leg. The tail's not too bad, but I'm going to be clipping that short. So let's have a look and see. You always got to watch where the skin is. You don't want to obviously cut the skin. Lifting it up a bit. Okay, it's going through. Oh, there you go, buddy. It's almost like he has a cast on his leg. Cast of mats. Oh, there you go. Yay! Hey, there we go. You feel better already? Look at that hair. Good job. Now we can be a little bit 
difficult for the front leg. So I'm going to see if I can get it done. I just restrained him a little bit more by just tying the loop to the groom and arm. Come here, I know. Especially when you're not it, it's not fun. Right? If he does try to bite, I'll have to put a muzzle on him. Because I don't want to get bit. No, because then I can't work. Those armpits. Good job. I know. I know. Honey. I'm feeling where his skin is, especially under the armpits. That's a lot of loose hair under there. Just feeling with my other fingers. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Good job. Good boy, no biting, that's good. Just tight knots. I know, I know, I know. Don't worry, we're almost done this foot. Almost done. Just getting off his belly hair. What I can see while he's sitting. All right, now I'm going to do under his chest. I'm making his skin taut. They got it folds in the neck area. That's why you lift the head up straight so you don't cut any of that skin. Just going slowly here. It's all right. All right. I'm struggling a little bit. Good job, good job. Oh. Poor baby. Hey, poor baby. Why did mommy leave you like this? Job. Right. He's putting his head down. I'm just letting him be comfortable how he wants to be and getting what I can get while I'm here. I don't, don't really like to struggle with dogs too much, you know, make them comfortable. I don't want to have to like, push them around too much, but. Sometimes you have to get the job done. Look at that, he's way smaller now. You're so small now, look at you.
That armpit is really matted, so I'm going to go in shorter. Okay, just wants to lay down. You okay, buddy? You gotta stand up. I don't want you putting strain on your neck. Come on, let me go. Good job. Sometimes the insides of the back legs are hard to uh, get because of the angle. I'm going from the inside. Just pulling the skin. I know where the skin is. Don't worry. <laughs> That's most of it. Didn't get the rest of your back leg. Okay. Oh, good job. Good job, buddy. Good job. Poor thing. I'm actually using a 15. The skin is very delicate under here, so I'm just using like light strokes. The knots are close to the skin, so I don't want to, you know, cause the skin any injury. Let me see your pee pee. The knots on your pee pee. Then I'm doing a light touch in order not to uh, scrape the skin. So I'll do that on the other side as well. All right, so now I'll do his tail. Hopefully he stands up. It is all matted here. You can see the knots all the way down to, to basically almost the end. But this part doesn't look too bad. So I might be able to leave a little bit there, but I'm just taking it off. little lion tail so I'm just gonna cut this shorter I'll see what it looks like afterwards maybe I'll just cut it right off like the hair not the tail you <laughs> don't like that do you I know it probably bothers you get some junk on your bum yeah poor baby hey sweetie all right, the next thing I do is I shave all the pads. Sometimes I'll use a 40 in here, not a 30. I just find dogs that are so matted, if you go clo really close, they just go home and scratch everything and be itchy. So I try not to do a 40 if I don't have to. I do a 40 on other dogs, but when they're matted like this, I don't. So, if I have to, I will, though. So I'll do that to all the feet. Next thing I do is clip all the nails. He doesn't like his nails being clipped. 
Some of them are black, some of them are you know, only one. Two is white, two is black. I can see where the white, uh, the quick on the white nails are, so I'll just do that one first. So I can, no, 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 no. Yeah. He doesn't like this part. So, all right, bud. Nails are too long. How are you walking? Hmm? You're going to feel better, believe me. No, no, no. There we go. And then I'll try to file them later. <laughs> all right, so I got to do that on all four feet. All right, so the last thing I do is clip his head. He's not getting any hair left on his head. I'll shave his ears. I'm just following the way it grows. I know he's going really low. The insides of his ears. He's really twisting. Hey, this is day. It's all right. It's all right. I know. He doesn't like his face to be touched. Get off what I can now. And get off the rest later. Good boy. You can feel better. Yeah, you got a big knot right by your eye. Okay, now he's struggling. I'm holding his nose so I can feel if he's going to be, you know, licking his lips. Because I wouldn't want to, you know, cut his tongue or anything. If you cut a tongue, it bleeds a lot. Come here. But it'll stop eventually. No, no. Okay. There's my other clipper for that. It's alright. Alrighty. Got the majority of it off. He's very strong. Okay, let me just fix. Let me see if I can get this off with a smaller clipper. There we go. Much better, right? That clip is too big for your face. Yeah, there we go. Good job. Okay, no, no, no. If only they knew we were trying to help them. They just don't. <laughs> know why all these tools are in his face. Come. I just want to get off as much as I can before I bathe you because he does not like his face being washed. So I like to get off as much hair as I can so it'll be less to wash. Good boy. Good job. Yes. So stain fur. Good job. Good job. Some dogs don't mind the scissors. Good job. Can I just open up your lip a little bit? I know, I know, I know. I'll fix it up later too. Okay. And one last step is I just quickly clip off any of these long hairs around the feet. The less hair he has, the better, because he does not like to bath. 
or brushing or drying. So the less hair for him is better. No, no. He hates his front feet being done. It's all right. No, no, don't. Did you show me your teeth? I don't know. Did you? All right, I've got to do the other two feet. There, he's free, free of his mats. Look at this. Look at all this hair. This is all mats. Mats. Oh. No dog should be allowed to get like that. That's just horrible. Poor thing. You're going to feel a lot better, aren't you? There's more over here, too. Probably just from his head or something. A little bit back here. Look. It's the size of another dog. <laughs> Look at that. You feel better? Yeah? All right. I'm going to give him his bath. I'll blow dry him and just... Uh, Give him a once over clip, make sure everything's even, and he's gonna be feeling really good. He's washed and dried. And basically what I do is I just go over him again, um, clip off any hairs that are uneven or sticking up. Okay, I know, you hate your feet being touched. I know, I do my best with his feet. my soft slicker and brush it like backwards and just clip it again. Alright, my power is running out. It's the cordis, I just gotta plug it in. And his tail, if he'll stand. So he has a little bit of hair left on his tail. I'm not gonna leave too much because it's gonna it's gonna tickle his back and then he's gonna be running around weird. It's alright, and I know he hates his tail being touched, so he shouldn't really have a lot of hair left on that tail since probably no one can brush it. So I'm just going to trim that even shorter and uh, just leave like a little bit just so it doesn't look like a, you know, a rat tail or like a stick. Good job. <laughs> He's strong. That tail is strong, huh? I'm just going to get this hair I see sticking out. still see some hairs. So what I do with the feet is I just use my slicker brush again and I brush it up like this and just cut off the hair that sticks up. I know, he's getting irritated. I don't get him perfectly done because he can only take so much and uh, he never likes screaming, he just hates it, and he puts up a fuss, and he'll start getting too grumpy, right buddy? But at least you're clean, you're free of mats, you can see, right? You'll feel better, your nails are clipped, short as they can do, they're pretty long because they have a long quick. It's his front foot, he doesn't like to be touched, so 
do what I can. Okay, I'm just trimming your hair. I'm not doing your nails or anything. So his nails do look long. No, no, because that's as long as as short as I can clip them. He's got very long quicks because he hasn't been groomed in like I don't know. I think it's been five or six months. Yeah. Oops. It's okay. It's all right, bud. So it's hard to get a nice round foot. You see? If I see hair sticking out somewhere else, I will trim them. Trip them. Trim them. Get mixed up between trim and clip. Okay. No, 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 no. I know. You're doing good. Oh, good boy. Usually when you talk to them, sometimes they make funny noises. No, no, no. You got a knot there. I got it out. Okay. They will stop and look at you. It doesn't work much for him. Okay, buddy. Now your ear. So I clipped his ear already. And now I'm just going to trim around the edges. I just feel for the edge and just go around and around. I don't pluck his ears because he'll go bananas. So I just trim the ear hair. He doesn't have much in there anyways. And uh, he won't let me do it. And the hair inside is, is pretty like tight in there. So I'm sure if I pulled that, it would cause a uh, ear, ear problem, ear infection. It causes pain as well. Good job. He's better with the scissors than the clippers. Come here. <laughs> They're all over the place. All right. I like to get right above the nose, right there. It's cleaner, makes the dog look cuter. That looks better. Okay, and all these little stained hairs here. All these stained hairs. Good job. Whatever you'll let me do, I'll do. Good job. Good job, good job. He used to be really nasty for grooming, but now that he knows me and I know his triggers and I know what he likes and doesn't like, I mean, we have to get it done, but I know he doesn't like the clipper on his face much, so, so I'm using the scissors. Doesn't like his face being done, doesn't like his front feet. His nails, right? You don't like a lot of things. But in the beginning, he was really vicious. So he's come a long way, right? You've come a long way. You know I'm not going to hurt you. You know. Good boy. There. Then my last step is to use my thin and shears just to thin out any sharp, like, ends, scissor cuts. Good, good boy, good, good boy. Hey, look at you. You're a purebred good boy. Yeah. <laughs> so check out my links down below. There's a lot of other grooming videos that I have. And check out my Amazon uh, storefront as well. All my uh, grooming equipment that I use is on there and equipment that I recommend as well. Um, go check it out. It doesn't cost you anything to have a look. And if you do buy something, I get a tiny bit of mission which will help me continue to make uh, these videos so there he is much better huh yes you are free now you can probably run faster and you can see where you're going yes you good boy good boy thanks for watching we'll see you in the next uh, video